I mean, you can take, take some cow poop and smear it on here too. That'll pretty much seal it up, but you know, I wouldn't recommend it. Thanks for visiting our sawmill. Hey folks, how y'all doing? Robert Milton, back at you from Hobby Hardwood Sawmill. I get a lot of questions about this, about end sealing boards. And I have to answer a question by asking a question. Would you paint your house with an end sealer? Of course not. Then why would you end seal your boards with a house paint? It's wrong. They're not built for that. End sealer is a, typically a wax glycol emulsion that goes on the ends of the boards, which is where they will lose most of their moisture. And it coats the ends of the boards and reduces, but not eliminates the moisture removal rate. It slows it down where the boards won't crack. It's very effective. House paint, on the other hand, is what's used to paint your house. They're different. So if you're gonna end seal your boards, use end sealer. If you're gonna paint your house, use house paint. Um, you spend so much time sawing logs, getting logs out of the woods, making sure everything is good, sticker stacking, doing all that kind of stuff, then you risk end cracking by not applying the proper green wood end sealer, which is what it's called, green wood end sealer. Uh, there's a lot of different brands out there. I'm not gonna mention them. Uh, I don't get sponsored by any of them. It's one of the reasons I'm not gonna mention them. <laughs> but there are a lot of good brands out there. They're all basically the same though. Um, the technique is you simply paint the ends of the logs or you paint the ends of the boards with it slather it on it will dry it will make a moisture resistant but not moisture proof bear that barrier that will allow the moisture to move throughout the boards in such a way that it reduces end cracking there are some species you don't really need to do this on pine being one of them uh, any of the uh, evergreens typically uh, show themselves not prone to end splitting or face checking but if you're going to saw up this much wood right here and you're going to burn all that money on logs and time and sawing and all this kind of stuff, this is maple, then uh, you better believe I'm going to hit it with some green wood end sealer. That's what we're going to do on this video. You can paint it on, you can brush it on, you can take a big old bucket and just sling it on. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. I've tried about everything. Um, I much prefer spraying it on with a pump up sprayer it's not the ones you get with the little handle thing these are the ones that are backpack sprayer they're designed for this or they're designed for viscous fluids and they do a great job it is windy as heck out here it's blowing in here from 20 to 30 miles an hour it's not the best time to demonstrate a spraying technique but i'm going to do it this is three full packs of lumber plus the pack that the camera's sitting on so while the wind's blowing, I am going to go get my spray rig. I'll be right back. So here we go. I look like a ghost buster, don't I? Who's afraid of that ghost? Pump it up every now and then. Keep the pressure up. You'll see it kind of soak in and then stop. And that's pretty much it. I don't know, is this faster than a paintbrush? Kind of hit it again, just. So the thing that's real important, or some things you may not notice, may not know about sticker placement, is that it's extremely important to put your stickers near the ends of the board. The stickers act like a moisture reservoir, and even if you don't bother end sealing your logs or your boards, typically the 
uh, cracks won't extend beyond the edges of your stickers. They'll kind of hold moisture and uh, keep the ends of your boards from cracking. So even if you don't use a greenwood sealer, um, you're still gonna at least arrest many of the cracks simply by proper and careful sticker placement. Did y'all know that? There we go. One of the reasons I like to spray the boards instead of the logs themselves is on the logs you're spraying a lot of log that you're going to cut off. And who hasn't, who hasn't had the issue of when you're moving stacks of stickered lumber that the stickers move all around on you? Isn't that aggravating? You pick them up with a forklift and they move. Greenwood sealer is a wax. It does have some adhesive properties. Oh, I'm going to run out right here at the very end. Um, so what happens is when you spray it like this, I'm actually, or when I spray it like this, I'm actually halfway gluing the stickers to the board. It makes them a whole lot less likely to move. Ain't that something? I'm not saying it completely cures your sticker movement, but uh, it certainly does prevent it. A lot of it. Hey, I may make it. All righty. Just go here and do a, if it, if it absorbs in, go back and hit one or two that maybe I may have missed. I mean, that was pretty quick, wasn't it? All right, guys, we got her done. We got it all sprayed up. When you're spraying your boards, use Greenwood and Sealer. It's not a paint. It's designed for this job. It's what it does. It's what it's supposed to do. And it will protect your lumber from cracks and whatnot. There's a bunch of different brands out there. Uh, if you buy it off Amazon, it's gonna be silly expensive. If you buy it a uh, bulk from the manufacturer, it's gonna be significantly less cost. If you're just gonna spend all the time it takes to saw, you ought to use it. Sometimes in pine and other things, it's not quite as necessary. It seals the boards, it keeps your investment safe and it glues the stickers to the boards so that don't have that big tendency to move around as you're jockeying around with a forklift and from you from what you just saw it goes on pretty fast too uh, three and a half packs of lumber in just a few minutes sometimes you do have depending on the sprayer you may have to cut it with just a little bit of water to thin the viscosity up you'll know when it's right if you like this please Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave me some comments. I do appreciate it. I do these videos to make your life easier. I don't know. It's not like I'm gonna get an Oscar or an Emmy for any of this, so it's gotta be a reason for it. I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> but uh, if you do like these videos or you think they're worthwhile, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave me a comment and I'll keep making them because the reality is these are real tips. We're a real business. We are ranked the highest grade lumber producer in the state two years running for a reason. And this is a very easy thing to do to keep the quality of your wood very high. So stop using latex house paint, stop using house paint, stop using roofing tar, stop using luminized floor putty, stop using all that stuff. Just go get you a bucket of end sealer, spray it on, you're done. Y'all have a good day. Thanks for visiting our sawmill. Click on the links above to see more of our videos.